Hey everyone, welcome to the place where we test every single mask on Amazon. And today we are looking at the, that's right, look out East Gen, because West Gen's coming at you. Let's put this in the clamper. Whoa, we got different, what the hell is going on? We got black and gray and white. Whoa, which one should I test? I don't even know. And they're shrink wrapped. And the way, this is a, this is a manual process, by the way. So someone manually puts this together, but hey, good on them. Good thing I had my trusty uh, giant scissors here. Wow, that's insane that someone would do that. Put it in the clamp. Boy, these are insane. This is, are these supposed to be KN95s? They are. This is definitely not a real KN95. Still may test well, but we'll see. And let her rip. This is a PFE machine, particulate filtration efficiency machine. We're basically doing the N95 test to see if something would pass the N95 standard, which I know you're like, but Lloyd, this is the KN95. It also does the KN95 standard. And actually, random person I'm emulating, you're wrong. This is not a KN95, and I'll tell you why. You want to be cool at parties? Pay attention. If someone, what a dork, is wearing a mask that says, KN95, you can let them know, and you will be popular, that they're actually wearing a counterfeit KN95. To be a legitimate KN95, you gotta have three things. You gotta have the standard, which is GB2626-2019. That's the latest one, there are others. It's like vintages of wine, you know, the, of, uh, the different standards. You gotta have the manufacturer name on there as well. This has neither, just says KN95, which tells me that it's a fake. What is the manufacturer name? Well. They are saying WestGen personal care product, which sounds like a, you know, a relatively trustworthy brand. But then if you look for the details, let's see, look around here. All Chinese masks have what's called a quality certificate. It's the Anhai Hangdian New Material Co. Limited is the name of the manufacturer. So what does that mean? Well, it means that they're intentionally not following the standards. So when you go on Amazon and you buy, you think you're buying this West Gen 30 pack, uh, what you're actually getting is something from a company you've never heard of, right? I'm gonna try this mask on real quick. Oh my gosh, these ear loops are tiny. This is a micro, what is this, a mask for ants? I've used that joke twice today and I'm proud of it. Oh man, this thing is so tight, wow. Smells like I'm being suffocated by a plastic bag. <sighs> okay. Went dark for a second there. I started seeing the light, but then I realized that's just the, the studio light. Um, whew, all right. So yes, they're not following the standard, right? But you're probably sitting there at home like, nerd, <laughs> like anyone cares about the standard. Let's be honest. If you're watching this video, you're a nerd too. Sorry. Hate to be the one to break it to you. Awkward. But hey it may still protect you. So that's what this whole machine is designed to tell you. What is the filtration efficiency? Tell me, oh God of efficiency. Ah, 98.246, 98.246. So, you know, they were lying about the standard. They were lying about being KN95, but they still are providing a mask that will probably suffocate you to death with that horrible, horrible smell. But if you can get over the smell, if the smell doesn't kill you, COVID won't. Not a guarantee. This is not medical advice. What is the airflow? 172 pascals. Not ideal. So we also look at breathability on this machine. Uh, we want it to be uh, below 150. So if it's uh, you know above 150, that means it's going to be hard to breathe in over a long period of time. But hey, if someone gives this to you for your birthday, first of all, great birthday present. Uh, you know, it will protect you if you're just running in uh, to the grocery store for, uh, you know, to grab some like milk duds and uh, watermelons, which is very normal. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this. If you like this video, uh, give me a like or a subscribe or, uh, you know, just I'll catch you on the next test. How about that? We'll call it even. Thank you so much.